hard to believe this is my first and probably only visit to Six Flags St. Louis for the month of June. The reason why is because I just went to Texas, which was at the start of June, and today is June 14th. As of when I'm recording this, I will be leaving for Florida a week from today. So I will be heading some parks down there, which I'll reveal at the end of the vlog. And I will not be getting back until the start of July. So it's cool to get back to this park and see how my, oh my gosh, Ryan, I didn't know where you scared me. That was unexpected. Yeah, this will be my first and probably only trip here. And I'm excited to compare some of the coasters I rode to some of the stuff I rode in Texas. Like Scream and Eagle, the obvious comparison for me is Judge Roy Scream, which it's not even a close contest. Scream and Eagle absolutely bodies Judge Roy Scream in every way. I nicknamed it Judge Roy Sucks because it was nowhere time and it was rough. Uh -huh. So, Joker Carnival of Chaos, uh, hello, gotta address the elephant in the room here. This thing looks massive. Oh my gosh. So weird to see a giant Zamperla Discovery in the middle of our park now. Isn't that something or what? So weird. As you can probably expect, we're heading to the boss now. And the coaster I would most compare boss to, I would say is Boardwalk Bullet. So let's head over there right now. Boss, I will say it was running pretty darn smooth actually. And Ryan, you said your first ride was probably the smoothest you've ever had on it. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then we rode it a second time in the last turn. What was that? I don't know what it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right where Ryan was pointing at, that valley was a massive rattle to it. I don't know what the deal was. And it was only on the left side too, because we switched sides between our first and second ride. I didn't notice it on the second ride, but on the first ride, it was noticeable. Right, right. Yeah, I, okay, yeah, that's where I would agree with. Joker looks absolutely absurd from right here. Yeah, the logo. Oh yeah, it does have the logo, it's way up, up there, so I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's up there. I'm really excited for that. Yeah, I've never written one, even though I could have written possibly two of them down in Texas, I chose not to, because I know we'd be getting one at our home park opening fairly soon. Which... I could have written two, but I only had three hours at one of the parks, and the other park, it was closed the whole time I was there. See, I talk about crazy what was the other one? Harley Quinn. Oh, at, which one? America. Oh, America. Now now we're going down towards Justice League and Freeze, and I am especially intrigued to see how our Freeze compares to the one at Six Flags Over to Texas. If you guys saw my Six Flags Over Texas vlog, then you know that I rode their Mr. Freeze forwards 13 times. I'm intrigued to see how ours compares to theirs, so let's head down there right now. Nailed it first try, although I did have to readjust to the first green, and it doesn't help that I was stuck using a purple blaster, so could have been better there, but we both got it though. Top score of the day by Top far. Score, yeah. It says you beat me, I'm like, uh, no. Now it's time to ride Mr. Freeze. This probably would be my favorite coaster in Missouri if it ran forwards. Now it's your favorite coaster in Texas. It was still my favorite back in 2019, but after this recent trip, it's still my favorite, and it's not exactly a close call. So let's see how this one runs. too good for it to be at this park, honestly. Going through the inverted top that backwards on the trip out. What the flip is that? And then the airtime coming out of it on the front. Oh my word. This shouldn't be here. Exactly. Like, we do not deserve this ride at all. American Thunder. Like, oh my, what the heck happened? <laughs> Front row blue train, unbelievable. That like, was so wow. good. That was by far the best ride of the day, and it's not even close. Like, Freeze was really good, but this thing blows Freeze out of the water. Like, oh my gosh. Why can't it always run like this? I mean, seriously. Airtime was almost all ejected. Yeah, and exactly. The laterals, too. That was somewhat close to Texas Stingray, maybe. I don't know, but I still like Texas Stingray better, but wow. Too bad American Thunder can't always run like this, otherwise it would be a lot higher than my list, which doesn't now it's almost out of my top 100 because of how inconsistent it ran, but that ride might have just proved me otherwise. Back row 
a red train doesn't even come close to the front of blue train. That was not that good, honestly. That was sluggish compared yeah. to the one we just had. The triple bunny hops towards That's the end again. of the ride. In the back, they were decent flutter, but in the front, I would say they were almost ejector. Oh, like, were, it was absurd. Oh. Our first ride was definitely better. It's not exactly close. Ninja front row. Batman back row was good, but I don't know. It wasn't really too intense this time around. And then Ninja in the front row was definitely the jankest ride I've had on it this season, but it was by no means bad. I might have found it to be a little more intense than Batman because I grayed out like three times on Ninja. <laughs> and I didn't really gray out on Batman. For now, I'm going to go ride it just like a few more times since Ryan's getting something to eat real quick. And then we'll go back on Freeze when it's done. I just got 777,600 with a second blaster, but the display that shows what your score is, that was turned off when I wrote it, so that was pretty weird. Maxed it, third screen, and then I killed it the last two, which I'm surprised it did so well with it. That's pretty interesting that I found a blaster that actually worked when the display was turned off. Don't think I've ever had that before. Rides on Boston Screaming Eagle, both were amazing, and then we all just did backseat of River King Mine Train. How was that? It felt, it felt smooth and fast, though, especially in the tunnel. Yeah, it was hot in the tunnel. Yeah, it was decently hot in there. The tunnel drop did hurt my thighs a little bit because of how strong it was, but at least the airtime was good. I don't know where you guys want to go. I haven't done freeze yet, so we could do that. All right, yeah, let's do freeze. I mean, Ellis just got here a little bit ago, and Ryan's got to head out a little bit early, which Big we're gonna go down to freeze, do that, and then we also got to make sure to try front row Blue Train of American Thunder again, see if our ride earlier was this morning was a fluke. Ryan looks like he's up to no good. I wonder where this is going. I gotta follow him and see what he does. What are you doing? Yes. Ryan, what are you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank you. 
I decided to go with the two hour marathon to account for the lost time I'll have over the rest of June. So, so far we're off to a pretty good start and I can definitely feel a jumble match happening tonight. Very tiring marathon on Justice League to end up my day here at Six Flags St. Louis. And my final ride count was 18 on Justice League, 5 on Mr. Freeze, 4 on American Thunder and Boss, 2 on Screaming Eagle, and then 1 on Log Plume and every other coaster here with the exception of Boomerang and Rookie Racer. In terms of highlights, it has to be that first ride on American Thunder. It was running unbelievably good today. The closest I've ever seen it to 2019 American Thunder, which in my opinion is the best year for American Thunder. At least other years I've been riding it. I've been riding it every year since 2014. Boss is running really well. Second to back row on Eagle was incredible. Mr. Freeze was awesome and it didn't disappoint after riding the one over Texas forwards 13 times. Pandemonium was surprisingly good today as well. That one usually is a letdown, but not today. It actually spun the whole time, which I really appreciated. And before you click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else you may know. If you're new to this channel, like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you're notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit the parks and beach. Check me out there as well. It'll be the link in the description. As for where my next vlog will be, I mentioned at the start of this one that I am heading to Florida a week from today. And my first vlog from that trip will either be from SeaWorld Orlando or Universal Orlando. Wait till the two, I'm not sure, but it'll be those two vlogs first. So stay tuned for those. Until then, I'll see you later.